Most probes sent into space are on one-way missions. They're sent out, never to return. A select few make it back carrying a sample to be studied by scientists back on Earth. One such probe is NASA's OSIRIS-REx, whose mission is to collect a sample from the surface of an asteroid and return it safely back to Earth. In today's episode of Cabin Fever Astronomy with the Edelman Planetarium, we're going to briefly talk about OSIRIS-REx and the asteroid it's visiting, named Bennu. Asteroids are essentially small chunks of rock orbiting the Sun, made of material left over from the formation of planets early in the solar system. Asteroids are largely believed to be a sort of time capsule of this era, and so in theory, they allow us to glean insights into this period and by extension into our own history. Most asteroids can be found in the asteroid belt, a region between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Many can also be found elsewhere, such as in the inner solar system, where they may cross the orbits of the inner planets. Asteroids that cross the Earth's orbit are known as near-Earth asteroids, and their accessibility makes them of particular interest. About three quarters of all known asteroids are carbonaceous asteroids, meaning they're rich in carbon, an element essential to all organic molecules and to our own existence as carbon-based life. In fact, amino acids, organic molecules that are the building blocks of proteins, have been found in some carbonaceous chondrites, the surviving remnants of carbonaceous asteroids that collided with the Earth as meteors. The asteroid 101955 Bennu, or just Bennu for short, is both of these, a carbonaceous near-Earth asteroid just a half kilometer wide. As its type makes it representative of most known asteroids, and its proximity to Earth makes it relatively easy to access, Bennu was chosen as the target of OSIRIS-REx. OSIRIS-REx reached Bennu on December 3, 2018, and has been analyzing Bennu since then, studying multiple aspects of the asteroid and mapping its surface in high detail so scientists could select a site to collect a surface sample from. Four candidate sample sites were selected last August, and a final site named Nightingale was chosen in December. OSIRIS-REx has since continued its studies from orbit and has been rehearsing its sample collection, bringing the probe a mere 40 meters or 130 feet from Bennu's surface before backing away. The final rehearsal for collection is scheduled for October, after which it will be ready to perform the actual sample collection. But how does a spacecraft collect a sample from the surface of an asteroid? OSIRIS-REx will use an 11-foot robotic arm named TAGSAM, or the Touch and Go Sample Acquisition Mechanism. It will slowly approach the surface of Bennu and deploy TAGSAM, which will briefly, over the span of just 5 seconds, touch the surface, release a burst of nitrogen gas to kick up some of the asteroid's surface material known as regolith, and then collect what gets kicked up. Ideally, TAGSAM will collect at least 60 grams of regolith, but it has enough gas for two more attempts should the first fail or not collect enough. Once scientists are sure they have enough, the sample will be placed into the sample return capsule and sealed. With its sample on board, OSIRIS-REx will continue studying Bennu from orbit before leaving in March 2021, and finally returning the sample return capsule to Earth on September 24, 2023. Once safely on Earth, researchers will study the regolith sample to learn more about this kind of asteroid, as well as what its story can tell us about our own. Thanks for joining us for our discussion today. We hope you enjoyed the brief talk about this fascinating mission, and as always, we hope to see you back again soon for our next episode of Cabin Fever Astronomy.